Well, hello everybody. We are back here in Gatlinburg again. We were just up here about a month ago. We've come back for a short weekend. Kind of a spur of the moment thing. And we're going to have lunch today at the Alamo Steakhouse on the Parkway, which is Highway 321 east of Gatlinburg. And um, we're going to take advantage of a special they run every year during January and February, and that's the buy one, get one free special which means you can buy basically any steak on the menu, the most expensive one, and you get another one for free. So that's a really good deal, and a lot of people, when they're coming to this area, want to know the best steakhouse in town. Well, in January and February, this one is. Now, we do have another one we like, probably a little better, but um, they're not offering that deal, so the Alamo is really good, so we're gonna um, go in here and take advantage of this offer. you see a little bit of the outside here actually the sign is announcing the special buy one get one lunch Monday to Friday all day Wednesday so we've done this a couple of times now and uh, we're gonna go in there and take advantage of it you can literally get a 36 37 dollar steak and then get another one for free which comes out to about 18 19 dollars a steak and you you can't beat that deal anywhere around for the quality of steak you get here so uh looking forward to it we'll let you know how it goes nice little creek flowing through out front here we've been put on the waiting list so we have to wait outside it's kind of a cold day uh temperature is probably in the mid 30s but they said it would only be about a 20 minute wait so We'll survive. Yeah. My lovely wife. Wave at everybody. Looks like she's getting ready to hold up a train or something. Why are you wearing a mask outside? Keep your nose warm. Keep your nose warm, okay. Okay, I want to let you see the menu here at the Alamo really quickly. I'll try to keep the shadow out as much as I can. It's basically appetizers and salad and soup. Try to keep that shadow out at the bottom. Alright, let's go over here to the main entrees, lunch, chef specials. I should let you be doing this because I got a shadow. Hey folks, how y'all doing today? Hey, good. Right, pick back up again. Our waiter came and took our drink order, so let's pick back up where we were. <laughs> All right, over here is where it really gets good. This is the steak menu, and like I say, they are currently uh, during January, and I think what they say, two weeks of February. Mm -hmm. Uh, it used to be all of February, but they've cut it back a little bit. But if you come in from 11 to 3, and all day on Wednesdays, 11 to 3, Monday through Friday, the other days, they don't do it on the weekends, you can get anything on this menu, and that's normally the price for one, but you can get another one free, and you just you cannot beat that deal. One of the things I do also like about this place, uh, something they did back in the fires of 2016, that uh, devastated the area. This place was um, burned up. It's, they completely rebuilt it. It burned to the ground. And for however many months it took them to get back in business, they paid their employees the entire time. You remember that, don't you? All the employees uh, that were out of work, they still got paid just the same. So I like that. And here's a focus on the dessert part of this menu. Here's the dessert menu. I don't know if we'll be getting any dessert or not. I'm going to let you see that anyway. Okay, so my wife and I. Okay, so my wife and I both ordered the Rio Grande ribeye. Um, usually, I get the one called the steak. It's the big one with the bone in it. But uh, I got the 15 ounce. Did you get the 15 ounce? I did. Awesome. And I went ahead and did something I've not done before, and I hope I didn't do something wrong here. But I had the um, blackening um, topper added to it. It's supposed to spice it up a little bit and give it a kick. So that'll be different. I like spicy stuff. I love blackened seafood, so hopefully it'll be just as good on a steak, but I'll find out. 
All right, our food has arrived, and I got the blackened ribeye, and it smells really good. I haven't tried it yet, but that whatever they seasoned it with and blackened it with smells really, really good. This is my wife's unblackened plain ribeye, and um, I've got a baked potato. Now, I guess they do A1 in packets now. I've never had packets of A1, but uh, I love A1 on a steak. My wife doesn't eat A1 on her steak. I like the taste of the meat. Well, I like the taste of the meat too. What does that have to do with A1? It's seasoned already. Okay. So you're saying if the steak's done right, you don't need the A1, right? right. Well, I'll remember that next time I see you put ketchup on fries because if the fries are done right, they don't need ketchup. Your baked potato, if it was done right, wouldn't need butter, right? All right, it's time for me to shut up and eat. All right. <laughs> Folks, I have to record this. Um, my wife, the same person who just told me a minute ago she'd rather just taste the meat. And if it's done right, it doesn't anything. has just melted butter all over hers. So I asked her what the difference was, and she didn't really have an answer. Would you like to provide an answer for the camera now? It's okay. just good. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. We decided, even though we're both stuffed, that we're going to try dessert. We're just going to split one because this just sounded too good to pass up. The Alamo chocolate burrito. Uh, never had anything like that, but it says it's their specialty. So we're going to split one between us and give it a try. All right, here we here we go. This is the Alamo chocolate burrito. Yeah, did we say you were going to have some? I was just licking no. my spoon. We're actually going to split this. We are both too full to eat it by ourselves, but it looks really good, so hopefully it will be. Quick look at our bill right here. Our total for today, well, I mean, let's try to lay it down, so that'll work better. Sorry about that. Our total for today was $51.73, but we did add the dessert, which was $6.50. Uh, it's very rare we get a dessert when we go out to eat, especially here because there's literally candy stores and donut places all over the area. So we usually don't get a rest dessert in a restaurant, but we did today because that sounded good. But you can see the ribeye steak, $35. And then, of course, the $2 for blackening, then the dessert. And then there's her ribeye steak, but then in the end, you can see where they took off the $35 so all in all this is probably the best deal in town for two ribeye steaks that you can get anywhere so overall not a bad deal all right we just completed our lunch at the Alamo Steakhouse and once again we both had the 15 ounce ribeye um, I got mine blackened now about that that's not something I think I would do every single time I come but I am glad I tried it it was really good um, Looks like a lady might be getting ready to back in the space we're standing in, so if I have to move, that's why. But I got the blackened ribeye, and it was really good. Like I said, I don't think I would do it every time. Um, there was nothing intensely hot about it. Uh, if it's intense heat you're worried about, it's not that, but it was pretty spicy. So if you like your meal with a little bit of a kick, you might want to try that if you come here. If you don't like your meal with a kick, I would just order it without the uh, blackened seasoning. But overall the steak was really really good no complaints especially again for what what we had to pay for it um, my steak was really good it was cooked to perfection i always order mine medium it was cooked exactly uh, the way i would want it to be um, we did try that uh, dessert my opinion of the dessert was it was a roll it was a rolled up tortilla with ice cream and um, chocolate syrup on it and it was kind of like a mexican fried ice cream if you've ever gotten one of those in a mexican restaurant it, it was very a similar chocolate bar in the center yeah, yeah, had a melted uh, Hershey bar in the center. Pretty good, but the tortilla was pretty crispy, so it was kind of hard to. Uh, we got to move over here. I'm in the handicapped spot, and two perfectly healthy people are pulling into it. So, anyway, uh, that was my impression of it. I, my meal was very good. So, um, how was your steak that was done to perfection and needed no steak sauce but was smothered with butter? How was it yours? It was very good. All right. So, would you eat here again? I did. All right. We usually try to take advantage of the special they have up here in January and February when it's going on. So if you're in the Gatlinburg area within the next two weeks, um, you'll save a lot of money if you'll come here for a good steak instead of going to one of the others in town. Now, after February, go where you want to because they go back up to a pretty expensive price just like the rest of them. But you ought to take advantage of that offer while you're here. But anyway, thanks for watching.